Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to talk about the Dell PowerEdge R530 server and continue our series as a whole. In this video, we're going to focus on network cards. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R530 server. Do us a favor, if anything is video useful, click that like, smash that subscribe. All right, so this video is going to be uh, specifically focused on network cards, um, and there is definitely some differences with the R530 and the R430 for that matter. Those are kind of the same uh, compared to the 630, 730, and a lot of the other um, 13th gen servers as a whole. So the big difference is, is that there is a NIC um, built in. There's actually two sets of NICs built in uh, to give you four ports, and they're all one gigabit RJ45 but they're built into the motherboard, okay? Whereas with uh, the, the 630 and the 730, um, one of the things that we recommend is getting a daughter card, and there's a specific spot on the motherboard where you install the daughter card, um, and the daughter card will have four ports, and it's interchangeable, and there's different ones. Some of them have, uh, could be four 10 gigabits. Some of them could be uh, two by one gigabit, two by uh, 10 gigabit. Some of them are RJ45, some of them are SFP. Uh, so there's a little bit just more variety that you can do and uh, different options that you can do with the 630 and 7. 30, but with the 435-30 combo, uh, all you get is the four 1 gigabits built into the board, and they are RJ45. There is no daughter card option. There is the PCIe option, so yes, you can grab you know your standard network card. Uh, that will be something like a two uh, 10 gigabit SFP or a two uh, 10 gigabit uh, RJ45. That's how you can get to uh, 10 gigabit with the uh, R530 is you have to have the PCIe version. Uh, again, you cannot put a daughter card in, okay? So that's the real big difference with the, um, uh, with the 530. Uh, we'll show you how to physically install the PCIe, but honestly, it's, it's a very easy install. Uh, but wanted to just really, really emphasize the point of the built-in NIC uh, being the big difference uh, for the 530 compared to the rest, minus the 430, the rest of the uh, 13th gen. So let's go ahead and install it. I'm going to put my ESD gloves on and be right back. All right, I have my ESD gloves on, so we are safe to install the PCIe's into the card. I wanted to again note there are four uh, one gigabit built in, so really with the PCIe cards, you can technically put in, sure, one gigabit. Um, I guess for SFP that might make sense, but um, really if you were installing a PCIe, you want to get um, a dual 10 gigabit SFP or a dual 10 gigabit RJ45. That's the best way to go, in my opinion. So we wanted to lay them out for you just to see the two different options. Now we'll show you how to actually install them. Uh, since both the options that we have right now are low profile, we're going to come over here. If yours were high profile, you'd actually want to lift the riser up and install them on the riser. Uh, but what we have here um, is going to be low profile, so we're actually going to come over here and we're going to lift this up right here. So we're going to make sure that this uh, blue latch is set to unlock. And you'll notice there's three brackets in here and you're going to need to remove one of the brackets. So I'm going to take the one on the far inside and then we're going to come in and there's a uh, always a little point on the bracket itself and there's a slot down there that you want to make sure you line that up while you're also putting the leads in so it's um, not difficult by any means but there is a lot to line up at one time and sometimes the cables will even get in the way so just make sure you get everything lined up properly and then when you push it down you'll feel it connect you'll see it nice and flush back here um, and then when you put uh, the blue latch back down, uh, you will hear it click into place. There's this little tab, and it'll click into place. So really, honestly, it's, it's a very simple upgrade, like I said, um, but that's how you would do it. That's how you would install it. Um, if you need any NICs, uh, we have a ton of them in stock. Please email us at sales at And if you're looking to build out an R530 or any server as a whole, HPE, Dell, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, we'd love to earn your business. Please email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. You made it this far. Click that like, smash that subscribe. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Take care.